Hi Bruce from Safari and if you've been following our Starship line, uh, what we've got here are three forms of digital switching. The middle one's called Star Power, these are Starlight. This one here is 150 amps that you can run as maximum continuous power. And these on either side are 20 amps, they're 10 amps positive, 10 amps negative. Uh, they will do um, eight devices, including fridges, anything up to eight amps in total, and they will dim and also run an RGBW light. Let's take these out of the equation for now and concentrate on uh, this big one here, the uh, star power. Well, I say big, well, there's my hand. It's not that big. So it's a total of 150. So you've got six 35 amp channels and you've got six 10 amp channels on the bottom as well. So all together, 12 digital outputs. These little buttons up here allow you to manually override and control any of the outputs that are running. Um, and what we've got on this side here is that's the Bluetooth antenna. That's the NMEA cable that you can see here coming in. So we've got CAN down here and we've got a fully isolated NEMA port up here on the side. Um, and then we've also got down the bottom here some uh, two additional inputs that you can have from Ignition. Now, the secret with this product is three important things. Firstly, it's the actual switches. So let's have a look at this one. Um, you've seen this one online. I'll bring up a little image in the top right there of it lit up. We put that on a Ram 3500 recently. And that is CAN, just two wire at the back CAN and 12 volt power and that's totally IP67. You can actually put that into a bucket of water. Um, this one here is an internal switch. Um, both of these are custom engravable. We actually uh, take off the top layer of the rubber here and it becomes backlit, the LEDs light up. Uh, this one here is an interior one, very similar to our smart switch in the past. And it just has power going into the back of it and it is CAN and Bluetooth but most people probably use this in a Bluetooth mode. I'm gonna come back to that in a second. And then the third switch is this one here, which is the Star Touch with the full display. And I'm gonna bring up a couple of images while I'm showing you this of us running a kitchen light and a couple of other lights. And you just swipe it with your finger, turn it on, dim, and you can change the color of the LED. Now, what's important about this device is that the chipset we've got in here is called uh, Matter compliant. Matter is the new standard that Apple, Google, and Amazon agreed to. And so in the first firmware version, we won't have it running, but the second version, uh, we will. And in the second version, any smartphone will be able to control this device. It'll just naturally pop up in Google Home or Apple HomeKit or the Alexa equivalent. But here is the important thing about Matter, is you don't need the internet. So you can be out in the bush and the phone app will talk directly to it and natively talk to it. So we've got switches, we've got the smartphone covered, not in version one, but in the updated version we'll have covered. And now we talk about the Bluetooth, the antenna on the side here. Line aside at the moment, we're getting 100 metres here. What we hope is that you can put this inside the vehicle on Bluetooth and be switching in the van in the back. Start off with 12 volt, but we'll have it in uh, battery version. The last thing about this is we've put some AI in here. Uh, there's no fuses in this. And every time you start up a new channel here, the first three times you operate it, it will learn the inrush current and the continuous current and set those as normal limits. And then if the circuit exceeds that for some reason, then it'll turn that uh, channel off. So this will very nicely do a complete caravan. And then if you want some RGBW lights, you can add this on uh, and that will do up to eight lights or four and an RGBW. You might have another one on, but because of the current on these, uh, the RGBW, you could have four of our one meter strips on the one circuit and you're completely controlling the color. I've got to say, how good's that?